Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create some really cool animated effects in the PC browser online version of BandLab. Here, I'm going to add some effects to a drum machine track, but this works with all tracks in the PC online browser version of BandLab. So first, I will click on Add Track. and then click on Drum Machine on the pop-up menu. This creates a drum machine track with this starter drum beat. Now let's have some fun, so click on the Effects tab at the bottom of the screen. Then click on Add Effect. Click on Tone on the pop-up menu. Then click on Multi-Filter. Now click on the drop list below the word Filter. Then click on High Pass on the pop-up list. Then press on the frequency knob icon and drag down the screen until it says 30 Hz on the pop-up message. Next, click on the automation icon. Now click on the drop list on the drum machine track. And click on multi-filter frequency on the pop-up list. A white horizontal automation line has now been added to the track. Now on the drum beat, double click on the white automation line to add a dot to the line. This dot is called a node. Then double click on the automation line two more times. Now press on the middle dot and drag it up the screen until it says about 500 hertz on the pop-up message. Now, if you play the beat, you will hear the high pass filter animation on the beat. You can also add more dots and create more high pass filter animations. Now click on Add Effect. Click on Distortion on the pop-up menu. And click on Bit Crusher. Now click on the text box below the word Bits.
type in 10 and then press the enter key on your computer keyboard. Then click on the text box below the word mix. Type in 10 and press the enter key on your computer keyboard. Now press on the word intensity and drag it down the screen until it says 0% to the left of the word intensity. Now click on the drop list on the drum machine track header. And click on Bit Crusher Intensity on the pop up list. Now double click on the automation line to add a dot. Here I will add six dots in roughly the same place as I added the dots on the multi filter automation line. You can click on the drop list on the drum machine track header and click on multi filter frequency if you want to see where you place the dots on the multi-filter high-pass filter frequency automation line. And then click on the drop list again. And click on Bit Crusher Intensity on the pop-up list again. Here I will place my dots at the start of the bar measures 2, 3, 4 and 6, 7 and 8. And this time I will drag the middle dot up the screen until it says about 80% on the pop-up message. If I double click on the line again, and then decide I don't want that dot, I can double click on the dot to remove it. If you delete an effect, you will automatically delete the automation lines of that effect. And if you want to remove all the dots from an automation line, right mouse click on the line and click on Reset Automation on the pop-up message. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.